Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Now, we have now got baby Lego. But how do you get baby Lego? Well, you need pregnant Lego to get baby Lego, and we've got no pregnant Lego at all. So I'm gonna make one. <laughs> I'm going to make a pregnant Lego mini doll. So I've got Sophie here because Sophie is the one who has the baby, even though she's not in the hospital set. But she is the one who is the mother of the baby that you have in the hospital set with Henry, who is the father. Now, we're going to, well, I'm actually gonna change her top over because I don't wanna use this top because we're actually gonna be covering it over with polymer clay. Now, I've already taken the sleeves off or the shoulder straps off this particular top with some fingernail polish remover so you just need something that has acetone in it it'll take them off and I have got a nice ball here of aqua polymer clay and if I just stick this on her belly just like this ta-da she's pregnant job's done we have a pregnant lego mini doll yeah okay all right that, that's not right at all so we <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to use a lot of imagination to think that that looked like a pregnant mini doll. But we are going to mold this on here. So we start with a ball, but then we're going to do lots and lots of gentle squishing. So we need to move some of this polymer clay up here around her chest, just so that it actually has a better shape. And over here, under her arms, around her waist, Look, it's already looking so much better than that big ball that I whacked on her belly before. <laughs> oh, no, hold on, now it's slightly askew. We'll push that over. We'll be able to remold it and reshape it as we go along her actual belly part. So don't worry too much about that. We're going to make it look <laughs> just right by just poking at it. <laughs> there we go. That's actually looking pretty good already. This is quite a big baby. I think she might be ready pretty ready to have this baby soon. So keep squishing this polymer clay, just gently, gently, gently out and up and around, under her arms and around. And we don't want it to be sitting too high because it still needs to be around her belly area. And that looks pretty good for the front, I think. Okay, arms up, Sophie, because, hold on, we'll just squish this a little bit more, round it a bit more around the bottom. Okay, arms up, because we're going to now put some more polymer clay here on the back. So it's gonna look kind of like a nice big shirt. We're creating a pregnant shirt. <laughs> a pregnancy shirt. And this requires now a lot of blending and a lot of squishing because we don't want it to be too thick a layer because we want her to be able to put her arms down and we just don't want to make it all look too bulky except of course for the big bulge on the front because that's normal you always look bulky like that when you're pregnant all right, gently smoothing it up, 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 up her back. And just a bit under the arms. We wanna make sure that her arms can move freely and they still can. Beautiful, so we'll put a little bit more around here. Squeeze it around. We're just trying to blend it in really nicely and not lose the shape of her belly as we go along. Now this is, looks <laughs> looks a bit odd on the back here because it's gone down into all those little crinkles of her skirt. So I'd quite like this at the back to be straight across. So I will, oh, I think I might, I think I might need to fiddle with that with something sharper than my fingernail. I'll give it a go first. No, okay, I'm gonna need to get out one of my little cutting tools. I'm just gonna use the back all. You don't really need to use, use a cutting tool for this. You can use a toothpick. In fact, I think a toothpick might actually work better. That still doesn't look as good as I want it to look. I'm gonna keep blending it around. But it looks pretty good from the front. It looks just the way I want it to look at the front, actually. So it's just here at the back that's still bugging me. So I'm gonna use the pointy end of a toothpick just to scrape along and get rid of some of that excess. 
make it as smooth and as straight as I can. Lots of gentle poking and scraping all the way around. Because I like the back to look as good as the front. It's important. It is to me anyway. Okay, now we've got our basic shape done. I would like to put, well, we need some shoulder straps on this, otherwise her shirt and the baby's all gonna fall down. <laughs> We're gonna use this purple because it matches nicely with her shoes. Going to use this for some straps and embellishment. So we are rolling a skinny little snake out of it. Squishy little snake. Once again, I'm trying to get this really quite thin and maybe I'll squish it down a bit. Though I might regret that, but we'll see. Woo, now it's a bit flatter. So that should go on a bit neater. We'll only use this much. And we're going to use this around... Uh, actually, actually, change of plan. Let's make it a halter neck top. That will look really stylish. Sophie will be the most stylish lady in maternity. She'll look so cute when we're finished. Okay, we will cut that off there and so we've got we've got the neck piece here of the straps and once I've just squished that down a bit we're going to use the rest of our little our little flat snake here to make an outline and I'm going to fill in the rest of this space on the front in a moment let's see if we can get this outline to go all the way around the back oh, we're getting there we just have to convince it to go where I want it to go and squish 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 and a bit more poking with the toothpick we'll try and blend it together a bit and there now the pattern actually continues around the back lovely now now I want this to be kind of a bit more, a bit more balanced. So I'll just squish it all down a bit. And that's just sitting on top of her tummy at the moment. <laughs> it looks so cute. Look at that little baby bump, or that rather large baby bump. She looks so cute. Okay, now we're gonna fill in the space on the front with some more purple. So it's the cutest little halter neck top ever. Now I could have just painted a bit of an embellishment on the top and some colour on the top, but I really wanted to challenge myself and try and do it all in polymer clay. So we will see how this goes. The challenge for me is to not make it too thick up here. So like I said before, so it doesn't look too bulky because mini dolls are so tiny, you only need the smallest amount of clay to be able to cover quite a large amount of area. I think that looks, I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks like a really cute little halter neck top. Okay, Sophie, I think it's time to take you away and bake you. <laughs> All right, she is now beautifully baked. Here she is. Now it is all nice and hard and we have got, when we put her head on, the first pregnant mini doll. <laughs> and look at this, Henry is so excited. They're both excited. They're going to have a baby. I know. Look, look how cute the baby is. This one's not your baby. Oh, hold on. She feels as though she might be going into labor. She is. It's lucky they're hanging out right behind the hospital because, well, right in front of the hospital because, well, they can go straight in. So go and see the doctor. Get booked in. Yes, she's definitely in labor. It's time for Sophie to have this baby. Oh, it's so exciting. A new baby. I wonder what it'll look like. We've already seen what it looks like. Here we are. Here's Sophie and Henry's baby. The baby from the very first pregnant mini doll. Oh, hold on. This mini doll is pregnant too and she's already got a baby but she's very excited to see Sophie's newborn. Newborns are so cute. There we go, Sophie's heading off home. Come on Henry, it's time to take Sophie and the baby home. And my other pregnant mini doll is going to take her baby and herself into the hospital for a checkup. 
<laughs> that was so much fun. I think I'm going to have to make some more pregnant mini dolls. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you click thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Do you think Lego should make pregnant Lego? Do you think that would be cool or cute or horrible? <laughs> make sure you let me know. See you soon.